unnoticed by most of Africa and the rest of the world, a silent green revolution is steadily happening in Kenya. A new type of farming is taking off. It's called conservation agriculture and it's bringing benefits to thousands of smallholder farmers. So, what is conservation agriculture and what benefits does it bring? It's based on three key principles or pillars as Mr. Joshua Nyongesa explains. As one of the principles of conservation agriculture, minimum soil disturbance, meaning traditionally farmers have been plowing their farms. But with the introduction of conservation agriculture, we are encouraging farmers to do a minimum disturbance of the soil, meaning that one, they are going to reduce the cost of farm operations because it just requires that where a farmer is planting is where they are going to open up the holes or the rip lines which are encouraging in conservation agriculture. So it's going to reduce the cost of farm operations by adopting the minimum soil disturbance and even besides reducing the cost of uh, farm operations it's going to ensure that uh, soil structure is enhanced because you don't disturb where you are not farming. The other principle, of course, of conservation agriculture is uh, crop rotation. We encourage farmers, if they have planted cereals this season, next season they rotate with the legumes like beans. So that one also is an advantage because one, it disturbs the cycle of pests and diseases. And of course, cereals and legumes do not share same diseases or pests. So you break that cycle. And of course, diversification is going to lead to improved food security. The other very important aspect of conservation agriculture we are encouraging farmers is uh, soil cover mulching. We realize that farmers traditionally have been cleaning their farms and they think they are comfortable with that but it has disadvantages because in the soil we have those friendly microorganisms and of course they rely on some hosts so that they can do some soil microbial activities and leaching soil fertility. But you see, I don't know when farmers started clearing their farms. They remove all the residues from the farm, burn them. Of course, that's polluting the environment. They, they remove them, put them on one side of the farm which is not encouraged. So we are encouraging farmers to do mulching using the previous season's crop, cover the soil because it has advantages. It's reducing the weed intensity. So the weeding cost here is reduced almost by half. Above all, it improves crop yields and incomes, and that explains its growing popularity among smallholders. Peri Swamaitha, a farmer who was trained by the Participatory Approaches for Integrated Development, PAFID, tells us how she has gained from the innovative practices. <laughs> wakanivuza vile jinsi naweza kulima vizuri hata kasemu kadogo napata chakula na nataka na napata pesa na nikafurahia hiyo sana kilimo ya pafid sababu imenitoa 1 2 3 siku hata na nyumba simenti ilikuwa ya vumbi lakini sasa nikaniwezesha nikaweka stima nikaenda tu juu tuko na miaka 4 tukiwa tunafanya na wao Watoto wangu nikaweza kuwasukuma tu pahali wako moja rusty bone sai ya kokrasit nikampeleka body school mwingine ana ako sekedia uko uko na robi technical 
na sasa nafurahia hii kilimo sababu nimetoa bali Here is how it works in Kenya To start with a small precision basins are dug after harvest and these are maintained each year Alternatively the land may be reaped using oxen because only soils in the basins or in the ripped lines is disturbed and the spaces between are untouched this maintains soil structure and keeps organic matter in the ground whereas conventional plowing does the opposite exposing soil and degrading it over the years after land preparation lime and fertilizer are precision placed in these basins or in the ripped lines and soil is backfilled farmers can prepare land during the dry season this allows timely planting immediately after the rain comes crucial to achieve good yields throughout the year land is covered with mulch a blanket of crop residues this holds the rainfall and protects the soil surface from eroding under heavy tropical rains with time the mulch decomposes into soil organic matter and builds up fertility this is effectively recreating forest floor conditions on farmland each season the crop is rotated to minimize pests and crop diseases and to keep the soil fertile in kenya farmers rotate maize followed by legumes such as soya beans or groundnuts and in the following season a cash crop like cotton conservation agriculture makes the land healthier and is an excellent example of climate smart agriculture with its triple wins production is ensured the system is more climate resilient and more carbon is stored in the ground but it's not just conservation agriculture itself that is so fascinating it's the way it has spread throughout kenya smallholder farmers in kenya are feeding the nation and at the same time keeping their land healthy and productive and for mrs elizabeth muravi like thousands of others the choice is simple it's conservation agriculture hii kilimo imetufundisha na tumepata mafuno makubwa na hiyo mafuno makubwa hatuwezi kula na tumbo tukamalisa tuna hifadhi ya chakula na ya kupanda alafu hiyo ingine kwa maana ni mingi tunausa e, kama sasa tulikuwa tunalipia watoto university ingine tuna, tuna tunapangia mambo ya kujenga tunanunua mawe na mchanga tunaweza ku, tumeweza hata kuendelea ku, ku, kupata nyumba ya mawe kwa sababu una pesa ile imebaki kwa, kwa kilimo